Good morning. I'm on my walk today. I'm by myself. We woke up a little late, and so Tommy had to get busy with work early. Told y'all I didn't want to uh, hurt, but I tell you what, mainly, I mean, I'm not hurting bad, but where I can feel it mainly is um, in my ankles, um, and like the front of my ankles, I think from stretching out my legs, I'm walking up a little hill now, just a small hill. I had a harder time with my food and everything, and I told Tommy last night, I'm, uh, I'm tired of cooking already, cooking three meals a day, which I know that don't sound like a lot, and it's only for two days, but you know, we do a lot of quick things, which I've been cooking quick things, but like sandwiches and stuff like that, I'm trying to stay away from that kind of stuff while I'm, you know, counting my calories and everything because that uh, takes up a lot of calories and sometimes I don't lose weight when I eat a lot of carbs, which duh, I guess nobody does, do they? But anyway, here's the goats. Good morning. Don't know if y'all seen Corey and Kayla's baby goats. We call them the baby goats and he corrects us and says, they're not babies and they're not babies anymore. I just want to encourage you, if you're having any discouragement, you know, fight through it. I'll show you the inside of the high tunnel. Still have tomatoes growing. Some green beans. Everybody gets discouraged a little bit, and I know I'm only three days in. But, uh, you know, it's we're getting used to eating less and eating a little different. Not eating on every whim that we want to eat. So I just want to encourage you to keep pushing through if you're going on this journey with me. All right, so I got hungry for biscuits. And so this is gonna be a lower calorie biscuit. Uh, in here, I have this is what I'm using to sift. So I'm gonna be sifting while I tell you. It's one cup of spelt flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, uh, and one teaspoon of sugar. Um, that's what I have in this mixture. I have cut back on. Uh, well, no, I haven't cut back. I'm using the spelt flour. I have cut back in the butter on in this recipe. Uh, and see, this is some of the whole grains that's left in the spelt, but I still add that in. All right, I'm gonna give this a quick swirl around. Spelt's a little bit different. It's almost like gluten-free flour, except it does have gluten in it, but it gets dry really quick. So I use, uh, um, well, this is buttermilk and a little bit of water, a fourth of a cup of buttermilk, and I've added some water to it. I may need to add more water. Uh, but what I was saying is spelt flour, it gets dried out quickly. So I have added... Uh, let's see, I want to tell you the exact amount. Uh, one teaspoon of ground flax, a fourth of a teaspoon of chia seeds, and a fourth of a teaspoon of psyllium husk. Now, I should have stirred this together because it makes, uh, uh, which I can see, you can see it kind of gelling on the side right here. That's uh, from the, uh, the chia seeds. And so that helps it to just to retain a little moisture. And so I'm going to add all of this in there. This is uh, right at a half a cup, but it, remember it was a fourth of a cup of buttermilk, half a cup of water. Buttermilk, I found, has less calories than milk. Uh, it's low-fat buttermilk, and so that's why I'm using it, and plus it has a nice taste to it also to add to your, to your cooking. Even if you don't like buttermilk, I don't like buttermilk, but I like to use it when I'm making my biscuits, and I use it in my banana bread too. And you just kind of stir that together. And you want it to all kind of come together. Uh, and that I don't think I'm going to have to add any more liquid. You don't want to overwork this, but you just have to kind of stir it together to get it stuck together. Oh, you know what, y'all? <gasps> I forgot the butter. Okay, well, I'm going to go melt that butter and add it to it. I'll be back. Okay, this isn't optimal. What I normally do is... Uh, with my fork or with a pastry cutter, I will uh, add the butter. Uh, I'll uh, 
cut the butter into the flour mixture, then I add my liquid, but I forgot. So this is an optimal, but hopefully it'll work. All right. Oh, and I want to tell you, I've got these biscuits down to 100 calories, 101 calories each. That's really not counting any butter that you were to put on the biscuit after they're cooked. And it's not really counting this extra flour that I'm putting in, but it's fairly close. And I put it on my counter. And I want to try and make six biscuits out of this. And I like using my biscuit cutter. You can just make hand biscuits. Might would be a little more perfect with your, uh, you might could make sure each one has the right amount. So now I only have four biscuits. I may have to rework my recipe. <laughs> we'll see, I think I can get two more biscuits out of this. Yeah, I think it's gonna work out just right. You're gonna bake these at 425 for 10 to, I bake it at 10 to 12 minutes. I have a convection oven. Oh, that turned out pretty good. But uh, so I have baked them in a regular oven and sometimes they take about 15 minutes. Okay, here's the biscuits. And like I said, they have 101 calories each. Now they have a little more because I have opted to put a teaspoon of butter on each one on the inside. And so, they have, that's 30, about 33 calories, so 134 calories each. And I think I'm gonna have two because it's already 10.30 in the morning. So maybe I'll just have a lighter lunch. Made another one pot meal for lunch. We call this Chinese noodles. And it has some gluten-free noodles, chicken breast, bell pepper, onion, cabbage and carrots and it is delicious we'll have the recipe up if you want to try it all right i was really bad i had some vegetables for supper but uh Chloe Ann had some of these pizza rolls 220 calories for six so i had the calories left and yeah i ate some and I gained two ounces because of that. I was even under my points, but I have I don't have good willpower. And so when stuff like that's in the house, that's why I want to open that fridge. You didn't see any ice cream because if there was ice cream in there, I'd have been eating it. Anyway, tomorrow's a new day. Today is a new day.